government demonstrators were on the rampage today in Thailand's capital. Protesters stormed state television studios and a police club compound, hoping to find embattled Prime Minister Yinglut Shinawat. This comes after street fighting in Bangkok turned deadly on Saturday, killing at least two people and injuring nearly 50 others. CNN's Paula Hancock joins us now live from the Thai capital. Paula, give us an idea of uh, what you're seeing right now. Well, Manita, the situation is certainly more tense than it has been over the past week. We're just outside Government House here in central Bangkok. There were hundreds of protesters behind me, but the police has just fired tear gas at them, and so they have uh, dispersed uh, just behind the camera at this point. Uh, this has been going on now for uh, a couple of hours here and a little further down the road. Protesters wanting to get inside Government House, but there are uh, rows and files of uh, police behind those stone barricades that uh, you you can see behind me, behind the concrete, uh, the riot police are standing. There's also uh, water cannons, we understand, a little further down. And as I say, police have been uh, firing some tear gas up into the air, basically to disperse the crowd. It does work for a short amount of time, but as you can probably see, people are now milling back towards uh, the entrance there. They're determined that they want to get inside. On the loudspeaker, the leader is saying uh, that they want to get inside, asking the police to give them entry so that they can get rid of uh, this government. These are the anti-government protesters uh, who want to get inside. Now, this is a scene that's uh, being replicated around the city, not the tear gas part. This is, uh, it seems as though this is localised to just this area. But there are thousands of protesters that are outside uh, the police headquarters. We've just left there. It was certainly more jovial there, a festive spirit. They said they didn't want to break in. Uh, also outside the foreign ministry and uh, also outside uh, the zoo here in Bangkok. There have been rumours that uh, the police had set up a headquarters there. So that's another place that it's been targeted. Monita? So would you say then for the most part there the protests or the demonstrations have been uh, not violent? <laughs> Well, certainly that's what we've seen in, in some of the areas, uh, and uh, there wasn't necessarily violence here before the tear gas started. Uh, the protesters are basically saying that they want to get inside, uh, that they want to, uh, to ensure that, uh, that this government steps down. There was almost a negotiation between uh, the protester on the loudspeaker right here and, and the police uh, officer inside on his own loudspeaker, one saying, let us in, calling the police slaves of the government, let us in. The police ne negotiator saying, we are doing our job, we cannot let you in. So at one point it seemed like it was just a negotiation, uh, but then uh, the situation has become...